Hello, Omaha Girls Rock. <laughs> My name is Teeny. I'm an artist. I'm originally from Omaha and I love Omaha. All my family's in Omaha. I'm really excited to be here. You're joining me here in my little art studio where I'm mostly working on painting fairies. There's all my little paints and some books. There's my doggy. His name is Lila. I'm here to talk to you about why I rock and um, I'm also going to do my makeup. <clears throat> so here we go. <clears throat> this is my little palette. Um, and I'm also going to use this and this. So here we go. Why I rock. I'm a transdisciplinary artist, meaning I'm not limited to one form or one function. My expression goes anywhere it wants to. For me so far, the whole path has been learning to hear and trust my own inner voice. When I first started rocking in like a music way, it was just a couple years ago. Uh, before that, I was kind of mostly behind the scenes type of person. And I just like wanted to know what it would feel like to be on stage and like get past that type of um, booger, like I guess stage fright, work on my public speaking skills, so to speak. And I work with a lot of different artists and dancers and musicians to put on live shows. I was rocking as a means of catharsis. Catharsis means the process of releasing and thereby providing relief from strong or repressed emotions. So, like by getting on stage and basically I would just get on stage and like scream bloody murder for like, you know, however long and Sometimes I would just get on stage and scream for a minute and then that was it. But um, other times it would be like a full-on opera where there'd be lots of singing, dancing, and screaming for, you know, a whole hour or whatever. And it felt amazing because connecting with the crowd because like through me screaming and like the other artists on stage with me and everyone in the audience getting to scream, it was like, oh my God, like we didn't even realize we needed to scream this bad you know babies they get to scream all the time like they're so cool they just get to be like ah, like change my diaper you know but then like once you're older you can't just like scream but you still like have a lot to say and like you know that's like where art is so cool because it's like not everything that you want to say is in words i mean it's really like important to like figure out how to use your words but a lot of times for me it just doesn't do the trick when I'm home or like in my art studio and making the behind the scenes type of work like screaming is kind of the opposite of what I, what I want to listen to I listen to like just anything that's gonna make me feel good put me in a place of like harmony and healing or like just grounded being in my body which brings me into what were the artists that I want to talk about, which is who we've been listening to this whole time. And her name is Kwon Yin. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video that I go by she, her, and they, them. Let's move on to another palette. What haven't I used yet? Maybe a little bit more pink. A couple of add a couple zits, you know? Ah! Now we'll go here. Her name is Kwan Yin. She's a spiritual teacher. And she's also a musician and um, does live performances. A, a huge part of her whole practice is called catharsis. Oh, hi, Lila. Did you want to say hi? Oh, oh thank you. Oh, thanks for the kiss. 
and she just had this whole other um, approach to it, which was about like, you know, getting to the bottom of your own personal shadows and exploring them. Um, this one's really exciting, it's super shiny. Her music is super meditative and I listen to it all the time when I'm painting. I listen to it all the time when I'm in the bath. It helps me get into the space of feeling good and into the space of healing. You you all know about harmony because you're all musicians and understand like when different sounds come together, the combination of all those sounds creates an amazing feeling. <laughs> the basis for me is finding like what forms and functions that I need to do or I need to receive that puts me in a state of harmony, which then puts me in a state of creating harmony through different art or just being in general, you know, when I cook or when I interact with friends or family or strangers. Anyways, more about Kuan Yin. She named herself after the goddess Kuan Yin. The literal meaning of the full Chinese name is translated to the one who perceives the sounds of the world. I just think that is so beautiful. And also Kuan Yin is the goddess of compassion. And I guess the last thing I wrote down that I'll say is um, learning to tune in to what harmonizes your own body, mind, and soul is all you need to guide you in your own individual path and it will lead you to beautiful, naturally occurring collaborations. In fact, even when you are working solo, you are always collaborating with nature and spirit. So anyways, thank you for tuning in and harmonizing with me today. And thank you for watching my makeup tutorial. And I hope you have so much fun in Omaha Girls Rock. Let's see, maybe a little bit of green lips and maybe I'll be done then. Alright! <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time. Love you.